Yeah, I guess we can get started. Um, yeah, we're ready, yeah? Yeah, I think so. So, uh, question. Do we get a long rest? No, you got a short rest while you're hanging out with Mr. Undead. That's right. Oh, Waxing God. poetic. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna wax his ass. I'm down. <laughs> He's gonna wax your ass permanently. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll get a long rest at the bottom of the pit of demons. Yeah. And be able to come back and fight. Yeah. Them. You'll you'll get a long rest in the river Styx when you oh, okay. emerge as lemurs. Die. So. <laughs> I've only used up one hip, uh, one uh, one spell slot. That, that's a new option in Tasha's, right? right? You can uh, multi class as a demon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Doesn't it make you impervious? Like, isn't that what happened to Achilles? He got dipped in sticks, and that's how he was impervious. Yeah, I think that's it. You should yep. you should try that with Clash when you get down there. Just take a yeah. bath. Yeah, just take a bird bath. <laughs> see, see how well see how well the mind works against you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember everything for the last five seconds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, basically memento yeah yeah pretty much <laughs> yeah. um yeah so so you guys uh were at the grand cemetery trying to recover the um the the helm of torm site and uh you came upon a a rather strange person uh, named gideon lightward um that raijin recognized right uh yeah. He used to run the cemetery, and now now he runs the cemetery. <laughs> yeah. In more ways than one. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to kill him eventually. <laughs> eventually. Um, but yeah, so he he allowed you down into the crypts, and he warned you that there's some sort of demon portal below that he is protecting. El Terrell against uh, the onslaught of demons that are coming from this portal. So he happily allowed you down into his basement to check out his new friends. Uh, and then we put the lotion on the skin. Yep, we do. We put the lotion on the skin. Sick. And, well. uh, and there you are. So you, you come down into a room. Um, um, it's called G7. Um... <laughs> Uh, it says uh, you, you uh, descend the stairs. Uh, there's that circular staircase that goes down. And it says, uh, this workshop appears to be where priests and acolytes prepare dead bodies for final uh, interment. The place has been ransacked with knives, saws, piping, and tubes littering the floor. Acid and embalming fluid pool everywhere amid a field of uh, shattered, fla uh, shattered flasks and jars. Uh, and then there's a, a door um, in fr in front of you. Alrighty. Well, uh, who wants to knock? Hey, what if you ain't done nothing? Just watch your kid over there do it. I'll knock. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it uh, never mind I'm just gonna say yeah, right no I'll open the door okay yeah the door Coward. <laughs> so there's who who here has dark vision anybody have dark vision uh, six has I think a so Oh, a light in his mouth? Okay, so you open your mouth, and it's just like, bah! Well, Six does, the dog. Oh, the dog, yeah. Yeah, he opens his mouth. Yeah, I have dark vision. Nice. There was that uh, that orb of eternal light or whatever. Oh, yeah, that's I right. put it in his face. Yeah, that's right. So we always, because none of us really have dark vision. Yeah. Okay, so you creak the door open. It uh, opens ominously, and long shadows from Six's uh, light illuminate a... Uh, stairway downward, and then a, a T <gasps> intersection. <laughs> well, nobody wants to take the lead. <laughs> don't all don't all move will. at once, guys. <laughs> yeah, <no problem>. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I will just give. <laughs> Okay, 
so that uh, uh sorry i was gonna ask which cannon is that that's uh it's a force ballista right now oh okay okay so the way to the north bends around in a uh <gasps> And then the, yeah. uh, the to the south is another T intersection. Okay. I would like to make a perception check and see if I can hear anything in either direction. Okay. Yeah, give me a perception. Hey, I guess I need dice. I guess this game requires dice. Uh, um, there's no like, that is a 14. Oh. That gets you... The sound of, of music. Silence. silence. <laughs> By disturbed. Um, uh, no, you hear, you, you basically hear um, um, like just the, the sound of maybe like some dripping water uh, um, and an echo, and then your, your footfalls kind of echoing um, around the corridors. Um, and nothing, nothing else. Neat. I forgot how uh, heavy these metal dice are. It's like. Does anyone have preference? Uh, I say we take the shorter one first. That's what Oops, she said. Hey, where's Kevin? Kevin is, Kevin is on in, the road. Yeah, on the road oh. again. Uh, so you come around the peak corner. Ever so quietly, right from the corner. Yeah. So you see <gasps> a right yeah. turn. And more stairs. Um, and it looks like, uh, like it's hard to tell from where you're sitting, but it looks like the room kind of opens up um, uh, after after that turn. Okay. I will. Actually, the fourth one goes first. Can I try to take me forward? Sure. If you want to. And then slowly peek around the corner. Okay. You see. Bum. Uh, yeah, a large room that's been completely wrecked. Um, uh, this rubble-strewn vault contains five marble statues atop dioceses. Four of the statues are unrecognizable as their features have been badly marred by rock falling from a cracked ceiling. Um, and this is where you can kind of see some water like dripping down. So that's where you where you heard the water. Um, and there's a, f- a fifth uh, statue. Um, is finely carved, um, and it's in of a, like a, a man kneeling. Um, and uh, uh, who was it? Oh, it was five that looked at that stained glass window, right where the mm-hmm. where there was it fell over, but it, it had broken, but it was still basically mostly intact. And it showed yeah. uh, a man kneeling with like a with like a a, a, um, a helm uh, on his head. Um, and it, it matches that almost perfectly the the shape of the the statue. I guess the you, helmet. The the statue. Um, oh, of the of the uh, the guy. Of the guy kneeling, yeah. In the in the stained glass window, he had a helmet on his head. A helm Do I on his see head. anything in here? Um, you see um, statues that have been destroyed, and one statue that's like anything intact. Um, you see. Give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, uh, you don't see anything move. You you pause for a minute and kind of look about, and you don't see any movement. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, the the man kneeling is in the far far corner here. I don't know why I can't ping. Ink there. There it is. Okay. Yeah, give me a give me a investigation check. So these these things here are like are they solid or are they? Yeah. So they're they were like uh, little like dioceses with with statues on them, but the statues okay, have been like they have been toppled. What was that? Twenty three. Twenty three. Um, you find the coolest, shiniest. 22 black rock 
it's pretty. It's it's cool. Uh, I'm gonna go up and check out the statue. Okay. Since it since it mimics the the glass. Yeah. Yeah, so um, the the statue is um, um, is it give me Raijin, give give me like a history or a religion check. Um, as yeah, you. I know those things. Yeah. What was that, Julian? Fourteen. Okay. Um, yeah. So you you recognize this is a depiction of Lannish Fogel. Ah, oh, of course. How did I forget about Lannish Fogel? Good old Fogel. Um, I don't know who Lannish Fogel is, honestly. Uh, one, one, one second, please. <laughs> Tale of old oh, Fogel. good old Fogel. You know him well. Um, the AD Beyond search sucks. Yeah, so what? Like, okay. I don't know. <laughs> it said you suck. You failed your investigation check. I don't know where Lanish's Fogel's description is. Maybe it's in the upper section. Hold on, I, 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 I have, I've read through this quite a few times. I do not remember that name other than right there, and I didn't. It didn't register to me that he, he so, had no description of who he was. I, I searched because uh, John searched. Yeah, I found and it. There's like finally. two references. Uh, it says Lanish Fogel, a revered hero of Elturel's past and a dedicated paladin of Torm. Yeah, sure. So and then the recognizable statue depicts Lannis Fogel as seen in the stained glass window. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. So he's a hero of Elturel. Yeah. So let me uh, let me look because maybe so so as you know five as you're kind of looking over the statue you see that there's like a, an indention where a like a, a helm would have sat on the statue. Um, so it's not like it, there's like a stone helm that sat there. It, it looked like there was something that was removable that sat on there and the stone was kind of shaped in a way to like, to like catch it perfectly, like, like to hold it. Um, yeah. And it is, it is no longer, it no longer remains. Um, I'm going to come dust for fingerprints. Okay. Uh. Dust away. <laughs> Oh, that's great. What, uh, I don't think I... Oh, let me do the chat up. Oh, is the statue, ten, like, like person-sized? Yeah. Or is it, like... Yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's... Yeah, it's perfectly human-sized. Um, that means I rolled a four. Do you guys think it could be, like, uh, like a basilisk person? Uh, I think... Like, like a petrified person? Yeah, yeah. Like, a tap on it yeah give me a give me an investigation check yeah hey john um, can i uh yeah you can i'm up here dusting for prints anyway so you might as well include it okay. 16 plus a lot okay yeah so, I mean, it's so it's a it's a pretty accurate carving uh like a lot of care was put into it but it does you do see imperfections you see you know chisel marks in some of the like deeper recesses where it's not like you know they had a hard time getting into the crack to get get the right angle um, um so you can you can ascertain from that 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 it's not like a, a <laughs> petrified person but it is an actual an actual statue okay um so yeah this is a real person Left, you, said, uh, you said that it was a real person? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah, I, was, I, I just said, this is a real person. Me, sure. <laughs> I was like, every, give me a deception <laughs> check, five. No, <laughs> that's not going to pass anything. Um, just make sure you note the imperfections in your journal, oh, five. I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> so that if we can find the sculptor, we can critique his work appropriately. <laughs> Is he, um, the... The painted or the stained glass 
did it look like it was a person it was depicting or like a like an alive statue it was a it was a person in the in the depiction of the stained glass let me pull up the the description real quick of the stained glass yeah, um, got a lot cooler guy was going to come alive and help us fight the <laughs> Uh, so it says, uh, the one remains mostly intact uh, where it's fallen whole to the floor. It depicts a representation of the god Torm placing a golden helm on the head of a man kneeling before him. Um, out of the shadow. Okay, never mind. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and then, so then we've got a statue of the dude kneeling to yeah. receive the helm, which yep. looks like it was probably a vessel to actually hold the real helm. Yeah, yeah. yeah probably like an artifact. Artifact sconce or something like that. To be put yeah. On. Well, should we check the rest of these rubbles to see if they left anything behind? Yeah. What does the statue like? The one that I'm in front of look like? Um. Is it another person. It was destroyed. Yeah. It looks. Um. It look. Yeah. It's. It's almost completely destroyed. But yeah. It, it was humanoid in form. Um. Uh. And I. I think Raijin, Uh can remember that this this is called like the vault of honor uh so that it used to depict like statues of 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 heroes of elterel yeah <laughs> see i know i know so and much. it destroyed all but that one yeah oh maybe this that is, one is uh, probably indestroyable uh, let's try yeah get yeah give me a yeah, that was a high enough investigation. I think that there is some sort of like magical like properties to the statue that maybe extends its life. Um, you know, is 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 more more indestructible than than a regular stone statue. Yeah, it's probably not. The statue isn't isn't uh, anything to worry about. It's one of the remaining artifacts of this great hall. I don't believe that this will fall before uh, we get the city back to. Uh, uh, sword Coast. Let us go deeper into the catacombs. Do you want to, uh, do you remember anything else being in these dioceses? Like, uh, the statue over here? Or, uh, do you remember if there was, you say you've never really been in here before, though, right? I like, once, maybe? Once. Probably to bury your grandfather or something? Yeah, that is a good question. Where is my grandfather buried? Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, this is like a grand cathedral, um, and your grandfather was a hero of Elturel, right? He was he was a, a hell rider, so he would probably be interred somewhere down here. So yeah, maybe you have been here once, and uh, and it was yeah at your grandfather's funeral, and uh, and so you know that that uh, maybe like maybe you just like glanced in here like. For a few seconds, but um, but yeah, nothing you know, crazy. Nothing crazy, and then you know that that further down there's there's a um, a, a crypt with that holds you know some of the some of the more prestigious people uh, of El Toro. Uh, can I roll to see if I remember how to get there? Uh, I don't think it requires a roll. I think you can get there, no problem. Cool. How do I get there? <laughs> yeah, go back down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> go the other direction. Um, and then you know that there's, this is like kind of a circular uh, area um, and there's like a, a piece in the middle that you didn't really investigate that much uh, when your grandfather died and then uh, beyond that there's like a, a like a larger hall that that your father was 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 buried in okay so this bit circles around yeah yep okay I want to go this way. Okay. I'm going to go the other way. Nope. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm just kidding. Don't split the party. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm staying with Fix because he's got the light. Yeah. I have dark vision. I have dark vision too. Cool. You can see what kills you. Okay. Yes. I can see Merp's stubby legs running up this way. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, the, you don't hear um, any noises at this point. Um, uh, 
nothing nothing out of the out of the ordinary for a creepy crypt. <laughs> so yeah, what's there, like the ambient noise? Is it like water, like yeah, purple worms slithering there. beneath. Yeah, there's not there's not quite as much uh, like dripping as there was before. Like the the dripping came kind of came from that statue area, um, and so you kind of it's just like like it's got like this dusty smell to it, you know, like you know that that uh, um, you know hasn't been tread through very often. And, you know, you can kind of see the dust kind of hanging in the air, like as Six's light kind of pans across. Um, and you can hear, like, your, your feet falls echo, um, you know, almost, you know, uncomfortably loud as, as you're walking. Um, so as, as Merp comes around the corner here, it's kind of, it kind of opens up this central area. Um, and it says, the walls of this chamber are lined with funerary shelves, each set with dusty humanoid bones. Relics and holy symbols of Lathander, Torm, Helm, and Tyre have been set prominently on a number of shelves. You took a look towards Raijin. These might be the Nether They should be. They are, he said these are look familiar. They should be. They are the gods of uh, the Hellenders. And the, yeah, I mean, the, the main, main gods of El Terrell. So. Yeah. Although, I am missing a Can you tell me where that is, Raijin? Yeah. So, uh, you said it was further on, Josh. A platinum so dragon? Am I missing something? Another, no, Bahamut is the platinum dragon. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's further, further on. Yep. Uh, yeah. Kind of around the corner. And uh, give me a give me a perception check as you're as you're coming around the corner there. No, uh, I am focused. I don't see shit. Okay. I'm gonna go up to the. Since the last time Torm has helped us, I'm going to go up to his uh, sconce or his image or whatever. Okay. And uh, just say like a, a a brief prayer, thanking him for uh, bringing six back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you do you, you just kind of kneel in front of the dead body holding one of the symbols, or do you do you like like what 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 kind of describe what you do? Uh, just kind of like walk up to like wherever like the symbol or the whatever person of him, and just kind of like reach out with my hand, touch the touch the uh, the, the whatever. Okay. And uh, and then just say a brief prayer. Yeah, just yeah. Like, so so you kind of you kind of take. Uh, take the symbol in your hand and you, you begin to kneel um, and uh, the rest of you guys notice something odd as well um, all of the the holy symbols begin to glow um, um, at first it, Sorry, is it in like the middle area right yeah there? yep yep okay um, so yeah five if you want to move kind of over that way yeah yeah yep right where six is yep and Raijin you can yeah be around that corner starting to walk um, Do um, I notice anything magical about the glow? Well, um, it, it almost looks holy in nature at first, um, and then and then it begins to turn um, and and turn red, and you feel this horrible feeling um, come over you. And um, I need everyone, everyone but Raijin and Clash to make a Constitution saving throw. Yeah. And we're looking for 15, so <laughs> anybody less than... I'm about to fire the electrical dice. <laughs> 25. So anybody... I a one. Okay, anybody yeah. be below 15 takes or a two. 16 necrotic damage, um, and everyone else takes 8 necrotic damage. Yeah, as like not me, not me and Clash, right? No, not you and Clash. As and Clash, you kind of see just like the whole room, uh, like glow this uh, red, demonic glow, and uh, and like everyone kind of like clutches their heads, and uh, the people in the room, uh, all, you hear just like d torturous screaming, um, and it, it kind of like resonates in your head, and and yeah. So you, you taught me like a like a song of Torm, right, Raijin? Yeah. Like on the way over. I yeah, want totally. a minor illusion at 
like the Torm statue uh, to play that at like a pretty like loud sound. Like com like at the same about the same level as like the, the demonic screaming. Okay, yeah. So, so uh, it's it like it's a it's a beautiful song, right? Like this this kind of like it, it's kind of like a battle. I, I would guess like a yeah, like, like a, a religious song. marching type song. Yeah. Um, uh, so um, at first it, it like it begins beautifully, right? Like you you recognize it immediately. Um, and then, like the echoes. It'd be Raijin's voice too, because like I couldn't oh, see yeah. it, right? so I would oh, yeah. just heard like Raijin singing it. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. And, and you hear, you hear your voice ring out, um, and and suddenly like the but the echoes, like it it sit, like it starts to get discordant, and as it echoes more and more and more, like it 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 starts to get more like off kilter and like the pitch of your voice sounds completely different and and lowers like three or four octaves and and you you, you hear like after like maybe 20 seconds of this it, basically it just turns into like this deep guttural growl that kind of echoes throughout the the entire crypt um Does it starts to like play backward yeah 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 and it, and it says red rum red rum red rum <laughs> um uh, i try i try to cancel the illusion okay yeah and so it, it uh begins to fade but as it fa you know it, it you know echoes for another like 15 seconds or so before before it starts to get to like a reasonable volume and then kind of tapers off this place has been tainted we should be careful yeah, I'd... Uh, I say yes. Have all of your gods work well, and I start casting uh, uh, mending on six as we walk back out. Okay. Same thing. On so, my cannon. so as as the beginning as the the noise begins to fade, uh, it's replaced by another voice or another voice, another sound. Uh, you hear like, um, and Raijin, as you come around the corner, you see. Um, Oh boy! Uh, you see two scorpions, uh, and followed by these like, like, like uh, devilish figures, um, uh, like kind of like Wouldn't sludging along, things. sludging along behind him. Um, and uh, let's let's roll some initiative. Yeehaw! Oh yeah, that's good. That's real good. Okay, hold on just a second. That's off. Yeah, I'm doing uh, not great on the spell slots. Oh uh, man. I'm at about half. I got one of each. <laughs> I've got actually so okay on spell slots. Do you have third level slots? I do I don't have, have, I don't I have third, third level slots. I don't have third level spells. Like, I was just wondering like how many oh, that meant. Because if, if you have like like only second level, right, you, you have two slots left. Yeah, no, I'm I'm a I'm full caster, so I've got three slots, one of each. Okay. All right. Um, let me pull up chat real quick here. So mark is sixteen. Something. Fuck. Five is eleven. Yep. <laughs> and clash is twelve. Did I miss anybody? Murph, you got 16. Yeah, I got you. That's four. Wait, I'm missing one. Who am I missing? Did you get me? No. 17. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you are. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I, I'm like, I'm missing. This, this the numbers yeah, don't add up. It looks different than everybody else's, yeah. so it's easy to just overlook. Yeah. Um, okay. How did we trade in a Durgar or a Halfling for a Durgar? Can I, get my money, can I get my money back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think I think uh, 
<laughs> like I think um, Q is having a really hard time with everything going on, and uh, like I think he goes into that like rubble room, and he says, "I I, I need a I need a minute. Like I'm I'm just gonna sit here and and contemplate life. So I think he'll he'll be back in that rubble room." Um, can, can I borrow your racers while you contemplate life? <laughs> <laughs> he says, mm. <laughs> uh, Okay, uh, so Raijin, you're up first. All right. Um, I will just... Uh, I'll shoot the sparky boy at the big old scorpion. Okay. Uh, that is going to be a... 16 to hit. That'll do it. Cool. He gonna take... Ooh, 14 lightning damage. Ooh. Oh, uh, oh man. Thunder, but no lightning? What kind of crap is that? Oh, no, wait. Um, absolutely nothing happens, unfortunately. Uh, like, you see the lightning bolt strike the this crab and the like electricity just kind of shunts off of its skin somehow and like strikes the wall next to it neat mm -hmm. <laughs> love it, it. Like it was maybe like some metal armor that, that uh no cool. no no metal no good to use your what? hammer oh boy <laughs> <laughs> what is it me this time No. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm sorry. I was looking I was looking at the wrong I was looking at the wrong stats. Um, it, it takes half damage though. It doesn't do as much. How much damage was it? Fourteen. Just seven. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking that elemental add up next level. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything else? Uh, uh, I I cry a little bit. <laughs> You thought you thought you would dodge the bullet by getting rid of all your flame stuff, and I mean, <laughs> yeah, that, that's what you get for like all the demons get under or lightning resistance too. I didn't think we were gonna fight that many demons. <laughs> Here we are. Here you are. Uh, okay, uh, coin, you're up next. So yeah, you see Raijin come around the corner and shoot lightning bolts out, and uh, you you hear the the clack of of crab-like right feet. I'll move right up behind Raijin. Okay. And... Shoot the dang stinging crab. Okay. Shoot it. 13 to hit. Uh, 13, uh, unfortunately, does not hit. Uh, so, Didn't yeah, you... So. It bounces off the floor and kind of goes under his legs. Let's do uh, an Eldritch Force Ballista. How do I make it hit? Come here. Come here. There 23 you go. will hit. Um, oh, and that's a, that's a crit. That's a crit. Nice. Yeah. So that's 23 force damage. Yeah, it takes all yes. that. Yeah, you see, like, some of its carapace is, is, begins to crack, yeah. and, and it kind of stumbles a little bit, but... Angrily. Okay, Merp. Oh, right, anything else, Coin? Um. How's your health, Rajan? I'm as full as I can be. For okay. Being down max hit points, but you know. Okay. <laughs> as full as one can, right? I'll just yeah. keep an eye on you. <laughs> what do you have, like 25? 24. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, but that's not my max. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to level two again. <laughs> I think you're playing a melee wizard. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's okay if I if, if I die, my next character is gonna be a blade singer. <laughs> Everyone's next character is gonna be a blade singer because <laughs> if you die. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Merp, Merp, Merp is up. Fog cloud. Cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> so let's see. Oh no. Um, <laughs> okay. So let's see. Um, so I'm gonna do this. And it's that second level, so it is. I mean, 
you know, they're fine. I, I mean, okay. no, it is at second level, so it's 40 feet. 40 feet? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. Let me draw a shape here if I can. Draw a shape. So this, like, this shuts off all my stuff. I don't know about you guys. Oh, yeah, same. Same. Should I, should I just spell it? Yes. <laughs> is that 40 foot radius I mean, or 40 you, foot you diameter? Can drop it so we don't have to yes, spend it well, li Literally, it. all of us need to see to do anything. I mean, I can take shots blindly, but it's a disadvantage. Like, all our spells are like you have to see. Yeah. And these things want to be in melee with us. So we don't want to be in melee with them. Yeah, yeah so Bog right. Cloud really puts us at a disadvantage. Fine, okay. Gonna do the work. Okay, hold on just a second. This roll twenty is, does not like me drawing such a large circle. Draw a bigger one. Five, six, 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 five, seven, eight, seven, five, eighty. That looks about right. What layer are you on? What layer are you on? Tokens yep. Sure. Yeah, because okay. because uh, they're in fog cloud. So we can't now. see them. <laughs> so yeah, the 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 big black circle that you see that's that's the fog cloud. Um, okay, um, Merp, uh, it is now the uh, the scorpion's turn. Um, I'm gonna restart my. Uh... Roll twenty real quick. I'll, I'll be right back. Uh, hey, Mer, move back to where you were. <laughs> so out of the <laughs> fog comes a scorpion, um, and he's going to he's going to make an attack on you. Um, yes. Stingy crab. You're fine. Uh, that's going to miss though. Um, I think, uh, like, I think it was expecting the fog cloud to be, um, to be bigger, uh, and it came rushing out, and it saw all you guys, and it kind of just took, like, a wild swing. Um, the other one, um, so it come, it emerges from the fog, but can't quite, can't quite get to you, um, so. Cool. Uh, so they they don't have enough room, and they can't make it past the other crab to to double move. So uh, clash, you're up next. So you can do something. I'll move right here and cast vicious mockery on the uh, on the crab. Okay. Uh, is that to make a uh, wisdom, wisdom save? save right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna do awesome with his negative one. Uh, ten. That that is a failure. Okay. Uh, I think it's been a while for for vicious mockery. Yeah. It's, it's been a while. Uh, that's five psychic damage. Okay. And he has disadvantage on his next attack. Okay. Uh, I will. That is a. I will put. Oh, actually, no. I'm gonna move forward. Right Okay. And then I know he has disadvantage. <laughs> You're like, ha ha, <laughs> sucker. If, if it failed, I don't want to stand next to him. <laughs> All right. Five, you're up next. Oh. I'll just come back here. Um, and I'm just going to take a shot with my uh, hand. Uh, a pistol. 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 This is not magical. Uh, first one is a nine, so that's gonna miss. Yeah. And second shot is a twenty. Cool. Nice. Twenty is gonna hit. I feel like I'm walking. For max damage of eleven. Eleven damage. All right. First time. Not magical. Oh. Um. Uh, actually, I don't think. Yeah, I think they do. So yeah, so it would be uh five. Thirty-five, forty. Cool. And he's gonna make it right here, and he's gonna bite on some, uh, okay. some, uh, some scorpion. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, it's a nineteen plus some, so yep. he's gonna hit. 
that'll do it. Plus it's a T8 plus three, I think. Trying to find Is that really allowed? T8 plus three. Oops. Is what allowed? Oh I thought oh I thought that I had He does nine force damage. Okay, nine force damage. Okay. I was trying to play some music through through roll twenty, but I don't know if it was working. Hold on, let me give me one second. I'll check real quick. Jesse, does his does his mouth transform into like like some crab, like crackers? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Nice. Sure. Why not? <laughs> you hear crunch crunch. <laughs> And he pulled back. I'm like, does anybody need have any butter? <laughs> you know, if is that loud? Like, oh. Yeah. You know, if Q was here, he'd be all about me. Oh yeah. <laughs> is that loud or is that okay? That's good. No, no, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I'm learning the roll twenties, guys. Uh, okay. Um, five just went, um, okay. So now, now hold on. Does anybody want or need a slight AC boost? If it's free, I'll take it. I mean, it'll cost me a spell slot. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, and then... Like protection from evil and good. Good and evil. No, shield of faith. I think I think it's reverse in D and D. Like I, I hate only, that. It's only, it is evil and good. Yeah, it, it's only a uh, plus two for the hunter. That's. These are scorpions and they're goblins. I think. I'm not sure. Definitely not goblins. <laughs> Uh, so you see these, like, dretches uh, come up in between the, the crabs, and they're trying to get past them uh, to attack you guys. Um, Did I drop this bomb last? Do you want to cast something else with concentration? Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, if you, if you want to, then you'll have to drop this bomb last. Cool. Uh, sorry. Um, okay. Uh, back to the top of the initiative. Raijin, you're up. Ding, tang, tang. I guess I'll... Uh... Fuck, man. Uh, I'll shoot uh, little, little sparks at uh, one of the dredges. Okay. See if that give me a, does anything Give me, me a dredge attack. Uh, it's a 16. 16 is going to hit. Cool. Uh, 11. Okay. It does not seem to have as much effect. Okay. You, you attack. That's what I was afeard of. You attack the top uh, one. Just I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, sure. I'm going to, uh, put my hand away and pull out my trusty <laughs> plus one mace. <gasps> John, <laughs> am I up? Uh, no, I was just saying that. Did you hear what Raijin well, I, did? I pulled it out. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> it's the mace. Uh, it's it's plus one, but it's not a hammer. <laughs> uh, coin your turn now. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot the pokey crab. Okay. That yeah, hit. that'll oh, hit. Twenty-two that to hit. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll hit for ten piercing damage. Is that yeah. ma magical? magical? Okay, yeah, that. Uh, he, uh, you nail him right in the face, and he he collapses <laughs> to the ground. And force ballista is gonna train onto uh, the dredge that Raijin just sort of damaged. Yeah, do it. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, that'll hit for nine, nine force damage. Yeah, and it pushes him back five feet if he can move at all. Yeah, he he kind of he smashes against the the crab behind him, and he kind of goes. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Anything Beautiful. else? That is, that's good for me. All right. <laughs> Weapons of mass merp. <laughs> Okay, what are you what are you attacking? Um, which uh, attacking? there's three dretches and then a hell crab. I was gonna aim at the hell crab and then twenty. Well, that means you get two targets. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't attack the same target. Okay, the top one. Okay, all right. Make your attack. Crabby first. Oh, yeah. Yep. Give me, da- give me damage. 17 for the other one. Yep, the will Yep, that'll hit the dredge also. Okay. 16 damage. Counter damage. It's your element of choice. Fabulous damage. What did he say? Damage that hurts. Can, <laughs> it, can, does, can it do psychic or magic or? No, it can, it's only elemental stuff. So it'd be uh, cold, fire, lightning, uh, acid. Glad I had more than that. Uh, cold. Cold? Okay. Yeah, it, uh, it nails it, and it doesn't do quite as much damage as you had hoped. How much uh, was, damage was it again? Acid, cold, fire, lightning, poison. How much? Thunder. 16. Okay, so it does half of that. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, give me, um, give me damage. 14. 14 what damage? Uh, cold. 14 cold? So yeah, it takes it takes less damage, but but you're able to take it out. I, I was like one direction down. Collapses and then disappears because it's more like a video game. Hey, <laughs> did he drop any loot? <laughs> yeah, a little coin <laughs> floats. Um, <laughs> but it's like a it's like a angry coin. And it, no. and it bites you. Not 20. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, exactly. For two, <laughs> For two biting damage. Uh, okay. Uh, anything else? Rude. Anything else? That's pretty much all I can do. All right. Scorpion's turn. Uh, he is going to attack. Uh, he's going to attack six. Uh, yep. Uh, uh, three on the die. Your metal dice, they're not rolling well tonight. Uh, they're going to miss. Um, and he doesn't have... Oh, he has multi... Oh, shoot. I, I uh, completely am playing this guy wrong. He's got two more attacks. What am I thinking? That's two claws and a stinger. Yep. Uh, so let's see here. The stingers... Uh, six, or the claws of 16. And the stinger is more. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so... So the claw, the, kind of damage is, okay. the claw rakes down, oh, 10 bludgeoning damage. And he kind of, and he snatches six in its claw and it's like grappling him there. Um, and then the sting is 10 piercing damage. And uh, six needs to make a constitution saving throw. Six damage. Uh, is it against poison? Yes. Uh, he is immune. Well, then he takes a none damage. None poison <laughs> damage. Doubled. Um, okay. 
Cool. Uh, that's the Scorpion's turn. Wow, I completely played that Scorpion way wrong. The last one should have taken a lot more hits, but that's okay. Uh, Clash, you're up next. Uh, I'm going to try to stab it with my silent dagger. Do it. Uh, that's, uh, I think a 20 to hit. That'll hit. Quiet as that. Yeah, 20 to hit with the main hand. And then offhand. Uh, 21 to hit. Yep, cool. both of those will hit. So the main the main hand is your silent dagger. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's eight. Okay. And then I'm gonna use the uh, psychic blades. Okay. That should be three d six. Uh, and that's sixteen psychic damage. Ooh man. And then offhand, I think it's just a d six. Scimitar, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and four non-magical. Okay. All right. Yeah, it doesn't, you like the dagger silently just, shh, you don't hear a thing. Like you can feel it like resist against your, your arm as you like make contact, but no noise at all. Uh, and then the crab kind of screams out and then you slash in with that, uh, the, the um, scimitar and it kind of, it, does a little bit of damage, but it bounces off. It, it, it doesn't slice nearly as cleanly as that, that super cool dagger. Um, okay. Uh, five, That's it for me. Five, you're up. Uh, get up next to six. I will cast Mending on six. Okay. And uh, six is going to try to bite. And do it. So that is a 18 to hit. Yep, that'll hit. For 10 force damage. Okay. Cool. All right, yeah, it's looking pretty bad. I think, oh, uh, it's, with, it's grappled to be with disadvantage. Sorry. Second one's higher. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I think uh, six, and I'll even I'll even allow it because it was such a good hit. Like six grabs a hold of one of the claws. It's like clamped on, like that's clamped onto him, and just kind of rips the the claw apart, and so it drops him onto the ground. Um, and so like the crab's claw is kind of like dangling loosely now. Um, okay. Um, all right. Right. Uh, now, um, okay. So out from the um, from the back corridor, you hear screams, and uh, and you see two dretches uh, come around the corner. Um, but they they had to double move. They had to double move to get there. So um, they're they're up and they're like, Gah! they come out of the um, the corridor behind you. Behind. Yep. Um, okay. Um, all right. Uh, Raijin, you're up again. Cool. Uh, can I get to this spot? Yeah. Cool. I will uh, push through my robotic friends. <laughs> Excuse me. And, uh, Pardon me. Excuse me. And, uh, you know, crap. Uh, I'm going to guide my strikes and I'll try and whack it with the fucking uh, mace as I cast uh, Booming Blade. Kaboom. Uh, let's see. What's the to hit on that? Oh. I don't know. Defender, self, can <laughs> I don't think it rolled the to hit. No, yeah, I don't think it did. That's fine. Okay, I'll roll it with my uh, war hammer. Mace. Did that do it? A four. We'll miss. No, that's... That's the to hit. That's the D four plus two. Yeah, that's two. One D one D twenty plus two. <laughs> two plus two is four. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, so <laughs> you're like, watch this coin. Whiff! <laughs> That's why you need to use the hammer. <laughs> Yeah, you're trying to step over six as you swing. Yeah. <laughs> his shoelace catches on one of his little pauldrons. Yeah. yeah. Ah, shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else? No, I, I cry more. Okay. <laughs> coin, coin, you're up. Okay. And Murp, Murp, you still have fog cloud up, right? Yes. Okay. I know that talking is a free action. Is crying a free action? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a tricky spot. I cry big thunderous Same. Uh, sobs. I think um, I will turn around and somatically act like I'm tying the Dretch's shoelaces together and cast snare on it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what does he have to do? He has to make a save. What, what kind of save? A dex, a dex save. Oh, he's going to wreck this dex save. Oh, <laughs> 17? Yeah, he passed it. <laughs> he's like, he looks down and he's like, I don't have shoelaces. <laughs> <laughs> Coin just goes... <laughs> and the and the elders cannon points up at him and tries to take Blast. a shot. That's gonna be a disadvantage, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I will just roll that locally here because you gotta push buttons for all that crap. Yeah, no problem. Um, nine to hit. Uh, that's gonna miss. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so it blasts away and and. Uh, uh, kind of like it's too close and it can't get the right angle like it kind of one of the gears kind of catch a little bit and it shoots and blasts the wall next to him okay um okay did you calibrate it before the last fight no i forgot yeah you didn't qu calibrate it for closing uh, uh cqb so um all right yeah, sure didn't all right wild magic merp you got some dretches coming up on you Cast Fog Cloud. <laughs> Drop a sleep spell right in the middle of your head. Yeah. <laughs> Cast Fireball on yourself and then roll Fireball on the Wild Magic. Game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Double kill. <laughs> I think it probably be more. More than double. Summon your shadow blade. Okay. Bonus action. What does your shadow blade look like? It's literally a great sword that weighs nothing. A great sword that weighs what? Nothing. It weighs nothing. Oh, weighs yeah, nothing. Like I thought it said it does nothing. I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. It's <laughs> an empty gumball machine yeah, exactly. in the shape of a great sword. Yeah. yeah, give me give me some attacks. Fourteen will hit. Just nine psychic damage. Okay. Yeah, it, it like I guess it, if it's psychic, so it's it's kind of like this like shadow. It's just like a shadowy blade. Is that what? It, yeah. Yeah. And so it kind of like yeah, you like swing it. down and it like passes through him. And like he kind of like looks like confused, like like that doesn't hurt. You didn't even do anything, and then suddenly it like feels like inside of itself, like kind of like sloughing away. So yeah, it, yeah, it takes and takes all that damage. Anything else, Merp? Um, he's moved forward to the door. You can't get through them. Okay, they'll take enough. Yeah, two of them actually. Wait, since he's a Duragar, is it like halfling where he can move through their space? No. No, he's still in medium. 
says good. Okay. Oh, shoot. Uh, go ahead and uh, actually, Merp, give me a constitution save. I forgot about this part. Crit. Okay, cool. Yeah, so as it comes around the corner, I forgot to describe this. There's like this stinking cloud that kind of like radiates out from it, um, and uh, but you're able to to slough it off. It probably is just a regular smell to you. <laughs> um, uh, okay, Scorpion's gonna do an attack. Uh, it doesn't like the robots, so it's gonna either attack Clash. Uh, it's gonna attack Clash. Um, Okay. Did you just use the History Channel version of Robot? Robot. Robots. Ro yep. Yeah. Robot. Robot. Uh, so it's disadvantage on the first attack, right? So Claw is going to be a um, 10. Why does it try to bite first? Because it Claw, it, it claw, claw stings. Claw, claw, sting. Uh, so the next Claw is going to be a 2 on the die. That's going to miss. And then the Sting is going to be a 3 on the die. So it's going to miss. I suck. See, he should switch it up. He should try like sting claw claw. Uh, it will next you know, it's time. It's like Dark Souls. Maybe next time. You're gonna memorize the move. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna get it. It's always claw claw, claw, claw. sting. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Clash, Clash. You dodge nimbly out of the way of, of these gigantic claws, and then a sting coming over the top. I think maybe it like, uh, like it it scrapes against the top of the wall or the ceiling, and that's why it misses. It kind of like catches on the top of the ceiling, so. I dodged because I got keen mind. Oh, yeah. I that's, remembered the sequence. Yeah, that's it. Yep. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I've I'm gonna, fought these before. Uh, yeah. Counter -pack. Counter -pack. The main hand misses. Okay. Uh, and the offhand also misses. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> you guys are exchanging, like, attacks back and forth. Evenly matched. Evenly matched. Uh, five, <laughs> five, you're up. I will take two swings at scorpion with my long sword cool is that a magical long sword that is magical cool um and that's a, a 22 to hit on the first one yep roll good and roll damage he's pretty low um so d8 yeah uh plus five so that is uh yeah yeah uh so that's 10 Okay. Yeah. Smashing damage. Yeah. So you, um, like, he's distracted by Clash, and they're kind of exchanging blows, and you just come in and woof right across him, uh, dead. He falls to the ground. And then I will step through. Oops. And we will move to here. Cool. Uh, I will use my second attack on him. Yep. Which was a uh, 15 to hit. Uh, 15 hits, yep. Uh, for 7 slashing. Okay. And then 6 will bite on the first one. On the same one you attacked? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, he got a uh, 17 yep. to hit. Yep. For 4 force damage. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Um, so, Merp, um, as if as if you didn't have enough problems, more problems. Um, uh, silent, <laughs> silently, uh, around the corner, if I can get to the correct layer, um, uh, a shadowy demonic figure um, passes through oh, wow. you and the Dretch, and and turns, um, and will make. A um, attack. Um, he will do a long rest. <laughs> so I can change the sword. Um, hold on. Yeah, it will. It will cl as it's like passing through you. It'll like the the its claws will like like come become solid and i'll take a swipe at you oh, oh that's creepy 17 22 to hit uh i use a penny yeah <laughs> so i cast shield three times um <laughs> seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 
15 psychic damage. And it, it, it's kind of the same sort of thing as your blade. So, like, the claw just, like, passes through you. And as it passes through you, there's this, like, mind-wrenching, like, pain uh, that racks your body. Cool. I like that. You're now moody. Um, and then and then the dretch is... One, one dretch will attack you, and one will attack coin. Oh, man. Uh... I think it was 16. On who? Uh, yeah. Dylan was asking. Like, 16. Oh. Psych. Yeah. The, the shadow thing? Yeah. It's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, dredge will attack. Um, that's going to be a 16 to hit Merp. Yes. Um, and then it will. you'll take uh, four piercing damage. And then another attack is going to be more um, and that's going to be uh, seven slashing damage and then coin is going to get two attacks uh, that's going to be uh, 19 I'll shield that uh, and then a less. So, yeah. So it comes down and tries to claw at you, and clang, clang, it kind of knocks off of this magical barrier. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, Raijin, you're up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I will, uh, I'll step up this here shadowy demon thing. Okay. And I will uh, cast Booming Blade. Kaboom. Come on. Nope. Did it? Did you roll on the chat? Or do you just roll? No, nope. okay. I, I, I rolled a real die because I didn't like the, yeah. how the chat worked. <laughs> Negatory. <laughs> Nine is greater than zero. You're, you are... Mathematically correct, Julian. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, anything else, Raijin? Uh, uh, I pray. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Um, uh, coin, you're up. I'm going to right, I'll be right to... back. Okay. Hey, give me one. Do something fun here. Do it. Do it. I... Explosive. Yeah, it's gonna be explosive. <laughs> oh, sorry, at the start of your turn, you need to give me a um, give me a constitution saving throw. I don't want to. Yeah, uh, you need to. Okay, there you go. 23. Yep, you're fine. Okay. Yeah. Again, you're, you're probably um, like, ah, kind of smells... Like cologne or something. <laughs> I guess stretches would smell like cologne to a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a second level, second level thunder wave. I'm <laughs> wave on the stretches. Yeah. Uh, so they gotta make deck saves, is it right? Uh, constitution oh. saves. Oh man, they are get wrecked on constitution. A uh, ten, and a nope. uh, cocked. And a uh, 16. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, so the one cast right. Cast this thing. There you go. Okay. So it's half damage on a on a on a successful save, right? And just for giggles, I did it through my arcane firearm. Let me find that and add it to it. Two there you more. Go. Extra two. And fury of the small. Can I do that? Does it have to be a melee no, attack? I think it's. I think it's. You can do it whenever. Can you do it on Thunderwave? Oh, maybe not Thunderwave. I think it has to be like a. I'm trying to see. Device. It says attack or spell. Oh, okay. Yeah, do it. Is Extra it on... six. Is it on both of them? Yeah, I guess it would be, huh? Okay. No, just one attack. Just one. Okay, which one, right or left? The one I hit. Okay. Yeah, you uh, you blow him apart, uh, and he stumbles backwards and. 
and dies. <laughs> okay. And then half damage for the other one. Yeah. And he isn't pushed away. Yeah, and he is like, you like blow one of his arms off, and he's like, ugh, ugh. still kind of come at you, but he is in real, real, real bad shape. Um, and how long does my. Oh, okay. Never mind. Nope, I'm good. Cool. All right, Merp, give me a cause. Oh. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang. I forgot the, the, the cannon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. At disadvantage, he'll do it. Yeah, do it. Oh, I rolled a two and a three. Yep. Again, yeah, like it it kind of like, you know, again, catches on the, the place where you thought it thought it was going to move and boof, blasts again. Uh, hey. No. Okay. Farsighted cannon. <laughs> All right. Con save. Uh, he Mer- yeah, so you are poisoned um, for one minute. Uh, okay, well, hold on just a second. Uh, so you <laughs> nice. are uh, poisoned. Oh, sorry. This. Oh, no. He's using it for his Oh, gotcha. Oh, great. What is it called? I forget. Uh, the tides of chaos. Tides of chaos. That's a lot better. That is a 17 plus 5. Okay. And then uh, give me a give me a roll. What what page is that on, Ethan? Uh, I don't know. I'll look it up real quick. Mm-hmm. I thought it was it. I thought it was it. It's page one hundred four. One hundred four. I was one page off. He rolled a ninety four. <laughs> he has resistance to poison damage too, though. Yeah. Okay. So suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is moved back as Merp Merp no, grows, yeah. Enlarged. Nice. Yeah, is enlarged. You are enlarged for a minute, so. Uh, he will take uh, his one attack on the dredged one. Okay. Which is, a, which is a 24 to hit. That'll hit. For nine psychic yeah that that kills him too he's dead sweet okay i'll be right back you would um okay anything else merp no um all right uh clash you're up next this guy is made out of like complete shadow yeah no oh, metal. yeah no 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 metal at all He's he's neg- looks mega like Game of Thrones like Stannis shadow guy. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna try and attack him with the uh, with the main hand dagger. Do it. Uh, it's a 24. Yeah, that'll hit. The offhand short sword. Uh, that's a five. That's gonna miss. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be four. Uh, piercing damage, magical piercing, but I'm gonna cool. use the blades of psychic stuff because I can do I'm gonna do psychic stuff too cool and that is nine psychic damage cool. in addition to the the four all right nice magical nice you uh did tides of chaos and then doubled your size and then you killed it a dredge <laughs> killed it a dredge you killed it anything else clash that's it all right five you're up there's nothing there that I can uh, no, because it's all Thanksgiving. Uh, I am going to, since I'm right up here, and you look like you have the shadow. Oh, shoot. There's still dredges left. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, attack this first stretch of the long board. Do I need to make con saves? Or yeah, yeah, do? give me a con save. Well, it's, it's poison. Are you immune to poison? I just get advantage. Okay. Uh, the other guy, he gets, a, he gets uh, he's immune. Six so is in you. Uh, okay. A twenty. Yeah, you're good. And then first sword hits. 
Ooh, same thing. Uh, four plus uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two damage. No, or, oh yeah, I was like, whoa. Uh, for uh, eight damage. Okay, yeah, that kills that dretch in front of you. And then the other one will go for twenty-one to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. And ooh, that's max damage. That is a uh, thirteen slashing. Nice. Okay. And six will take a bite out of it. Take a bite out of crime. Take a bite out of the dretch. And he missed. He rolled a two on the die. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Merp needs to make like a bunch of con saves for for his fog cloud. Give for me like his fat arms. Give fat me like face. three. <laughs> you you had a drop. You had a drop by now. Just let it drop. It's not good. Well, if I can, if I can get it, I will. Now you have to undraw the giant circle. Yeah, like I won't let me select it. Just let me select it. Damn thing. Okay. Probably on your DM cube. There it is. There it is. I got it. I got it. Gone. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, anything else? Oh, is six has six attacked? Yeah, you missed. Okay. You cool. Got a, uh, seven. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, the shadow um, now with a larger target uh, will will attack. Um, that's a uh, sixteen to hit um, for. Uh, nine psychic damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, you had nine hit points. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, this gigantic merp slumps to the ground. Does he still say big? Um, yeah, yep. Yeah, because it's part of his wild magic thing. Because uh, it wouldn't let me uh, mark you as dead. Um, You'll be fine. Yeah, you can. Oh, you just moved yourself, right? Um, okay. Yeah, it's cool. All right. Uh, the last dretch, desperately fighting for his poor, poor life, will attack the robot in front of him. Four, 13. Will it go again with a bite? Four, t five. <laughs> the poor, poor dretch has no chance. What was that? Six. Feel sorry for him. Oh, disadvantage or no disadvantage? No, I said I didn't even have to. Oh, yeah, you didn't have to. I feel sorry for him. So the dredge frowns and says, "My life. I used to be a carpenter. Um, uh, <laughs> I used to be an adventurer. Yeah, I, I took an arrow in the knee and died from it, <laughs> and ended up in the river sticks. Uh, Rajan, you're up. Oh. Uh, Left. Yep, and a sha shadow. The shadow's right next to you. And it just, but it's not oh. your shadow. And it just, yeah, you're like, oh, my shadow. And then you're like, wait, the shadow just, my shadow just killed Murph. Uh, uh, I will, uh, how does the dretch look? Um, he's looking pretty, pretty bad. He's crying right now. <laughs> uh, that, that makes two of us. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll shoot some electricity his way. Okay. Uh, that is gonna be a 19 to hit. That'll hit. See, it's a sign, you guys. I should never actually physically hit something. Uh, 14. <laughs> uh, it takes less damage than you had hoped, but it's enough. Murderized. Yeah, see that thing with the hammer though is it it's not magic. Sounds <laughs> uh, like a personal problem. A coin there's a personal problem. Co I can fix that. Coin you're up. Uh, I can fix your hammer. I can make it magic. Sure. Yeah, let's do another radian. Yeah, we could do both, can't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could do one yeah. and I could do the other. Uh, six. Oh four. nice! You just made my little cannon tiny. Love it. I love it. That's cool. Um, yeah, that's that's fine, Ethan. Gonna take a shot while I'm over here, so it won't that's be a hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it won't be a disadvantage. Pew! Pew, pew, pew. Fourteen, Fourteen on the shadow demon does hit. Sweet. For fifteen force damage. All right. Just giant 
bald in front of you. No. And it pushes him back five feet. If uh, he's there. Okay, him. yeah. Yep, he can. So yeah, I think as as the force ballista hits him, he kind of moves through Clash and Raijin, Um and you can you feel the the, the chills. Then the then there are chills. <laughs> there you go, crossbow. Yeah, eight magical piercing is that? Yes, sir. Do it. Okay. Cool. And. I'll hang out by the giant dead order. Okay. Actually, I'll sit on him. <laughs> you climb up on top. <laughs> I'm guarding him. Yeah. Actually, you just need a you just needed a better vantage point. <laughs> yeah. You're like, wait, hold, I can't see past. Hold on. <laughs> now I can nail him. Uh, okay. Um, all right, uh, Merp, you make a death save, please. Nineteen. All right. Yeah, you're you. Uh, one success for you. Um, uh, Clash, you are up. Uh, how does the shadow look? Does he look less corporeal? Uh, no. Corporeal? I mean, he is... Where's his stats? I mean, he's... Yeah, he's... Shadow, shadow at all! Start swinging! I hit it! He's a little less corporeal. My sneakers! He's a thick, dark shadow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna attack him. Uh, that is an 18 to hit with the main hand. That'll hit. Oh, and a crit with the offhand. Nice. Uh, main hand. Uh, I almost hit the wrong guy. Uh, same result. Main hand is four damage. Okay. Yeah. And, and again, like hand. without any noise at all. See, I can do it too. <laughs> uh, eight for the offhand, but it's not magical. Okay, yeah, it doesn't do quite as quite as much damage. It um, makes like a whooshing sound. Yeah, instead. and the body kind of goes around it. Um, all right, five. Oh, uh, let's see here. So he still looks pretty okay. Yeah. Than See, bad, he, he, he's than he's smokied. Is that, is that a term? <laughs> <Smoky>. <laughs> uh, <damn it. laughs> smokied That's... and the bandit. Oh. Is he turning into like a gray smoke instead of like a black smoke? Though? Yeah, yeah. It's a little it's a little more old man gray than it is black shadow. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna take two. Skins. He's a salt and pepper shadow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Two to hit. Twenty blah blah blah. Yep. And a lot more. Yep. Ooh, max damage on both. That is when it dies, does it turn slashing. into cheap cigar smoke? Twenty what slashing? Twenty six magical slashing. You twenty six him to death. Um, yeah, he. You swipe him and he uh, dissipates into nothingness. And what, what was that? He turns into cigar smoke. Is that what you said, John? Yeah, cheap cigar smoke. Yeah. 